everyone the first like 20 minutes of this episode got cut out because the file got corrupted i've been trying for the past week to get it uncorrupted but i have to pay for that and i don't want to pay for that so i'm just gonna insert the 30 second uh introductory clip that we recorded to right off the bat to make sure everything worked and uh, yeah hopefully you guys get a laugh out of that and uh you'll be coming in after we took a short little break so uh yeah, hopefully uh, that suffices. So, yeah, enjoy the episode. This is going to be the ASMR Welcome podcast. Welcome to the, the Big Fellas Welcome. ASMR podcast. In this episode, I'll be masturbating <laughs> to cuties and sharing my critical thoughts on the film. Loki will be talking about I forgot that Big cuties Mario. was a movie. I love cuties. Oh, of course Big you sauce. do. Of course you like Big sauce. Shut up. Going. You could have, like, acted in cuties. What? Because I was a child? Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to talk about this, um, I don't know if it's on Netflix or Prime, maybe Hulu, something like that. It's, um, which we'll find it up. It's, it's like this MILF dating show, oh, yes, but, yeah. but here's the plot twist. It's a bunch of moms with their sons. It's called MILF Manor. MILF Manor, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, so the, the, the premise of the show, I, I was watching a TikTok about it, um, is that uh, mothers and sons will go to this like island or like manor together, whatever the fuck it is? I don't. Well, it's called Milf Manor, so it's probably so, like a big house. Probably, and then the uh, they the um, the sons do like a fucking like swap, <laughs> and they try to get through the show with their with their um, designated milf. So oh, they get designated milfs. I thought it was just like, whichever kid could bang the most moms wins. No, it's like they have designated milfs. But in the first oh, show, okay. in order to get knocked, not knocked out before they made like the the milf groups, yeah. is um the moms would have to be blindfolded and feel their sons' physiques, and if they could identify which one of them was their son, they were um in the fastest amount of time they were they were safe. I feel like. That's really weird. That that's really fucking weird. Like yeah. this uh I feel like this is just inappropriate, honestly. Yeah. Like there's uh there's an extent where like dating shows first of all, dating shows in general are just kinda like cringy. Yeah. But like this is just actually strange. Like I'm I would not want to go on a dating show with my mom, okay? Like like I wanna go on a dating show with your mom. That's not okay. <laughs> how how like <laughs> would would any of you go on a milf like it's supposed to be like moms who are like cougars and like sons who are like, like milf attracted hunters. to older women? But like that's just this like Imagine that family dynamic. All the sons are supposed to be the same age. Are they? And then the moms are supposed to be the same age in this show. Okay, so I'm like, looking at the photo of the moms. They do not look the same age. Some of them did not age. Some of them really. look really old. Like really The second old, one like from mother. left. Like plastic surgery out the wazoo. Like, yeah, like literally. How how would you feel if your if your mom was dating someone our age, or if you were dating someone your mom's age? Oh. Well, first of all, that's just that's just weird. Like, yeah. that's just not okay. I mean, I could ask my grandpa, but <laughs> 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 yeah, Jay no. It's... Probably kill myself. If my mom was doing that. Like, yeah, like if my mom started going out with one of my classmates, I'd be like, no, it's no, not okay. Yeah, no. It's just, not okay. No. Thirteen reasons why IRL. Literally. For but, real. I don't know. This brings me to a different question. Sort of in line with TV production. Yeah. Who would you guys say your favorite actor or actress of all time is? Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks? 100%. Tom Hanks is a good Tom one. Tom Hanks is so fucking good. It's good, but... It's, 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 the, it's, it's the obvious it's one. Used. Yeah. Same with Meryl Streep. Like, everybody goes to those two. It's, like, yeah. the best. Mm-hmm. Honestly, oh, fuck. This is a hard question. What about you, Mitch? Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, he is good. I think that's a, that's a solid answer. Every time I see a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal in it, I watch it. It's always but good. But he needs to give Taylor his, her scarf back. I don't I don't give a shit about Taylor Swift. He's not a Swifty. He's not a Swifty. He's not a Swifty. I don't know what's going on there. I know she wrote a song about him. I don't even know about that, but I'm a Swifty. All I know is that he stole her scarf. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie's pretty good. Oh, sorry. It's, it's Miley talented. Cyrus. Oh, Miley my. Cyrus just broke up, like, not just broke up, wrote a song about Liam, Liam Hemsworth. It's Liam Hemsworth. Oh, okay. That's, uh, I thought but, Flowers was about, um, what's his name? Jake Br- Hall. But it's about Liam Hemsworth? No, it's about Liam well, Hemsworth. I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think that's a song by Taylor Swift. No, it's Miley no, it's Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Yeah. And Miley Cyrus, like, okay, I can explain this one because this one's funny. Miley Cyrus, uh, and Liam Hemsworth, like, cheated on, like, Miley Cyrus a shit ton of times. And um, my, apparently at their wedding, their, um, the song that Liam, like, tributed to uh, Miley was um, 
When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. So yeah. if you listen to it, Flowers, the chorus, is literally mirroring the uh, chorus of When I Was Your Man. Oh, okay. Like, that, like, that's the entire song. So it's like, I should have bought you flowers. Um, I can buy my own flowers. Should have held your own hand. I can oh, hold my own hand. Shit like that's that. That's actually funny. Yeah, it's, it's really fucking funny. Um, and what I found out yesterday, is, which is even funnier, so Liam Hemsworth, famously the brother of Chris Hemsworth. Chris yeah. Hemsworth... When he was asked, oh, yeah, who's your favorite like, Hemsworth? No, who's the second most famous Hemsworth, wasn't it? No, he said, was asked, who's your favorite Hemsworth? He's like, oh, okay. oh obviously Miley. That's funny. After they got divorced. <laughs> what was <laughs> Liam thinking? <laughs> My man down there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Liam Hemsworth and Miley Cyrus got married? Yeah, like years ago. And he cheated on her 19 times. One of them was with Jennifer Lawrence, apparently. Nice. I didn't know that. I, didn't and even know the, I think one of the ways she found out was because Jennifer Lawrence... Uh, in an interview, it was like, do you kiss Liam Hemsworth off screen? And she was like, yeah, because he's such a good kisser. Oh god. And then like that's how Miley like got like found got out. Suspicious. That's what I heard at least. That's funny. Like imagine imagine a public interview being your downfall. That's actually. Bit of an L. That's actually so bad. Okay, I kind of have a follow up question along the same vein of favorite actor. Actually, Colton and you never responded. The favorite yeah, actor. Who's your favorite? Yeah, yeah, he's like, Margot Margot yeah, yeah, yeah. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. I didn't Who's hear that. Who's my favorite actor? Yeah, Lyndon did it. Lyndon didn't. That's my bad. Margot Robbie's a good option though. She's hot. I don't. That's fair. Yeah. I honestly, I honestly so don't Jake know. I, I love, I love a lot Tom of Hanks. Movies. Is pretty fucking. You know, Leon, Leonardo DiCaprio is really, Tom Hanks really good story. as well. DiCaprio is a good answer. DiCaprio is like. Hmm. He, he has some really great movies. The great Andrew Garfield is also a fucking amazing actor. Tom Hanks in Toy Story. That's true. Is he Woody? Sure. Oh, yes. It gives me a Woody. No. She- and we have three stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay. Uh, what's going to say? Okay. Follow up was who's your favorite fictional character of all time? I'm going last. Okay. I already have it, but I'm going last. No, I want to go last because I asked a question. No, I'm, I'm going last. For your second last. Lyndon, you're first because you were, you were last on oh, the last one. Fuck. Who's my favorite fictional you. character? I'm going last. Okay. Um, yeah. My favorite fictional character. Fuck. Um, Nathan Drake from the Uncharted games, not the movie, the games. Very distinct characters, very separate characters. He's f- or, no, nah, I'm going to stick with that answer for now. Yeah, That's fair. I don't know who I would say is my, fi- my favorite fictional character. My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Sparkle one. from My Little Pony. <laughs> Rainbow's <laughs> Applejack. Can I change my answer real quick? Yes. No. I'm going to say oh, Luna Lovegood from the books, not the movies. Who? Is that a Harry Potter character? That's Harry Potter, yeah. Okay. What? I love Harry Potter. I literally have a Harry Potter tattoo. And I just looked at it and I was like, oh, yeah. You also have a Spider-Man tattoo. I do have a Spider-Man. Spider-Man, so. Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. That's yeah. fair. He's not my favorite fictional. Yeah. All right, Logan. Who's uh, your favorite character? God, I had one. Uh, probably Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker? Honestly, it's a good choice. He's pretty uh, good. Yeah. He's pretty good awesome. Choice. Why am That's I leaning away Luke, from the camera? Luke Skywalker, <laughs> pre- Last Jedi. Pre Last Jedi. Pre Last. Uh, even Force Awakens, he was all right. Like he was like, oh, but yeah, he didn't really do much. For Thirty seconds. Yeah, that's it. But like pre Last Jedi, he's great. Post Last Jedi, fucking hate him. He it's just horrible. turns around, he's like, oh fuck, a Jedi. Yikes. Yeah. yeah oh god, I gotta, I gotta do my. Let, let me just ru- let me just ruin a franchise real quick. Well, yeah. he didn't. We got Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson did. Gunning for that man. Oh, Bad god. movie. Honestly. Colton. It was Colton. You said you going last. No, Colton Colton can go last. Wow. Okay. Honestly, like, I had a character, and then I I Googled top 100 most iconic fictional characters, and then I lost who I was thinking of. Fuck. Nicholas Cage. um, (laughs) Nicholas Cage. Man, I totally lost it. I don't know. I like a lot of characters. Make Colton go first. No, 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 no. no, It's it's hard to figure out a character, honestly. Walter White. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. My name is Walter White. Yo. Walter Hartwell White. Hank has been cooking meth. And if you have seen this video, I he has killed me. I am dead. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. I, honestly, I think Luke Skywalker and Walter White are pretty on par with me, too. Yeah. All right, Colton, who are you? I'm going with Kagrop for my boy Dragon Ball. Kagra. I love that guy. I've never seen Dragon Ball, so. That's because you're gay and you never had a childhood and you're ginger. That's, yeah, that's probably why. That's yeah. probably why. So, Logan, do you know who he's talking about? No. Goku. Oh, Goku. Yeah. Okay. That's just his actual name. Oh. Yeah, so he's in Fortnite now. So yeah, so oh, that's yeah, I wanted to kill so myself. So, <laughs> so he's from Fortnite now, I know. Yeah, he's the Super about. Saiyan from Fortnite. Yeah. So. What about that, like, Giga dude? You, like, There's, like, parachute drops across the map. And he's like, 
I don't know, like, yeah. Giga dude? Yeah, I don't know. I was on Giga. What do you know that guy? We were playing I the other day. I don't watch anime. Uh, what Giga dude? He's, some, he's, he's like this. He's on the. Okay. No, I go like oh, this. Oh wait, wait, wait. Like was he in like a, an American flag costume? Maybe. I don't know. Fortnite. I think uh, I might know who you mean. Dragon Ball. No, this guy. Yep. Yeah. That's not Dragon Ball. Oh, that's All my Might. All Might. All Might. My Hero Academia. Yes. Yeah, I don't watch that. I've just seen clips of it. I've heard it's I not good. Watched he's either, sexy. I know it's horrible. He's sexy. No. He's sexy. The only so, anime I've ever sexy. watched is Dragon Ball. Fair. I've, that is fair. Yeah, that's one too many for me. Did you say you watched Spirited Away? Oh, I did watch. Sp- I, I've watched. I've watched a lot of like animated movies. I've never watched like an anime series. Anime though. Series. That's oh, right. But it still counts. I really. It's an anime. That's true. Yeah. I really like Graveyard of the Fireflies. That's my favorite anime that I've seen. I feel like I've seen that what one as well. What was that one? Did we watched that one in school. We watched that one that in one school. Really well, was, we watched some of it in school. What was that one that we watched in grade eight? That's dra- that's Graveyard of the Fireflies, the one where they bomb Japan. Dude, that that was sad. It's that such was so a sad, sad one. It's so but it was sad. so good. It's such a good anime. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, that was probably the only anime I've seen. And Logan enjoyed. just hates on it because he doesn't watch it. I, I don't watch. I don't He's watch it. I, if I if I did dedicate the time to watch it, I think I would like it. But I just. I, I just can't. See, I don't. I don't like the subtitles. That's one thing for me. I don't like to watch can't them. You can find some in English. But that's the I thing. know, but the, the, the dubs are so bad. The dubs are so bad. That's the honestly, no. Most, what I'm saying is, you can actually are. find some animes that are in, when they talk in Japanese in English. Yeah, like they and just they, have it dubbed over, and they the, actually reanimate it. Yeah, make it look yeah. good. But the thing is, though, is you some of them just take way too much. Like that one about. That dude who goes, who wants to be like a pirate. One Piece? Yeah, One Piece. Yeah. Like, 1,041 like, episodes or something right now? Yeah, like that's ridiculous. Yeah. How it's, you, it's really hard to get into. Like, how yeah. do you watch like fucking like 500 hours? Like, it's uh, it, a show like If that. you were to binge watch it, it would take two and like a half years to finish it. In yeah, one it, binge watch. it was a long time. The, uh, yeah, it was like 20, I don't know. Uh, 22 minutes times. Uh, yeah, I was like, wait, that's, that's wait, wait, right. wait, 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 wait. It's like I'm doing, I'm doing the math on on a calculator here. Oh, this will take Mitchell's doing the like, math. This will like, take a uh, second. Like 289 days worth of. If, oh, I, if I did the math right, I probably did not do the math right. Can I, that's still a lot. Here, uh, uh, let me let me see the computer. I'll do it. Okay. It's uh. It's how many 1041, hours? 1041. 20, 1041 times 20. That they might yeah. maybe more episodes times out right 22 now. 22 divided. 22 by minutes. Eight. 365 and you can find the years. No, because that, that gets you that gets, hours that gets oh, yeah. minutes. Divide that by 60. Uh, or just divide by 20, three to get hours. Do, no, you divide that by 60 you, to get oh, hours. Oh, wait, no, yeah. Divide, divide by 60 to get hours. Right. Yeah. There's 60 minutes in an hour divided by yeah, 24. Right. It's 15, If it's 16 days if you watch it straight with 16 days. Right. It's 16 days. That's not as long as I thought it was. No. But I also did the math wrong the first time, does that make sense? It's 291 hours. Logan, I think you should watch the entire the entirety of One Piece in one sitting. I'll, do, I'll, well, I'll start, deployed, it, so. start it right now. Yeah, exactly. You could do it. You could make it work. Yeah. Like, uh, what's, what's the next topic we have? Yeah, what do we have? Uh, we have a few here. Let me just pull them up. Actually, I have something as well. Yeah, you go for it. I have another one. I'm going to bang out all three of the things that I wrote down real quick. Did you hear what happened to the M&M Spokes candies? Oh, no. I, did. I, I heard what Tucker Carlson had to say about them. Well, Tucker Carlson is so fucking mad that the <laughs> M&Ms aren't sexy anymore. And now the M&Ms are gone. Yes. Uh, they've replaced the M&M spokes candies with Maya Rudolph, who... Oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. Wait, let's see. Who is Maya uh, Rudolph? Maya Rudolph. She kind of looks like Millie Bobby Brown. Yikes. Oh, it's, it's that girl from... Oh my god, it's this chick. Yeah. Oh. Put a photo of her up on screen. Yeah, I'll put a photo of her up on screen. Um, god, she's in like, she's in everything, and she tries to be so funny with so much shit, and she's just not. Yeah. They're putting their beloved characters on indefinite pause because of a controversy due to the mascot makeover. So basically, they tried to give them more, like, in-depth character arcs and stuff. They're yeah. fucking candies. They're candies. Okay. What? Well, I think the big issue was they were sexualizing them. If my candy were has they a literally penis, no. I, no, I, I, the big I, issue I, was that they were desexualizing them. Yeah. Tucker Carlson was so pissed that the green M&M wasn't sexy anymore. <laughs> he went out like, he was so pissed that the purple, apparently the purple one's supposed to be like, like, like an, a plus size. Yeah, they made, they made one of them fat. One of them had anxiety. Holy. Hubba hubba. <laughs> hubba, hubba. Okay. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm going to send you guys this. Logan, you're going to put this up on screen. Oh, will do. Um, just so... You know, I don't think I can continue. Just 
No, it's okay. It's I'm it's the green M and M degloving herself. <laughs> de gloving. So. Do you mean de shelling? Yeah, it's gotta. Oh, <laughs> oh it. boy. Yeah, throw that up on screen. So basically, that is what they tried to stop. They tried to put an end to that. Why? And, That's um, so stupid. That's just eye candy. Yeah. Well, literally. Uh, Holy, what the f- <laughs> 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 I found one with boobs. Holy shit. Yeah, oh. I can't exactly put that up on screen. There's not just boobs hey, there. Yeah, uh, can you airdrop me? Oh, uh, sure. I might, might need to save that for later. Yeah. So here, this is what, uh, this is what Maya Rudolph <laughs> tweeted out. She tweeted out a message from M&M's, uh, and she- <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. So they're, they're not even doing the candies anymore. They're just... No, they just changed Rudolph. it to Ma Rudolph. But I've seen people saying that what they're planning on doing is, like, at the Super Bowl, Maya Rudolph, like, reintroduces them. It's, like, rage baiting to, like, uh, generate conversation around this. Probably. Oh, that'd be cool. I, I don't know if it's going to be true. Like, in today's very pissed-off climate, I would not be surprised if they were like, no, this is actually too, uh, too offensive. We how, cannot have these. How but. do candies be... Controversial now. Logan, like, it makes no sense. To like me. Everything is controversial. Everything is controversial. Yeah, well, like yeah. Uh, they're still l- uh, less problematic than that Here one Skittles the commercial that, what, what, that never came out. Which one was that? The one where they're like they're having sex and he comes on. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the Skittles. Yeah, the, the wedding one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that one. You, that was interesting one. That's a god tier one. That's a god. That's. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I I might put like freeze right. frames on screen so people know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> or you just link it below. Yeah. Because I doubt you can put I'll it. I'll just show screen. the Skittle shot. Well. Yeah. There's well, nothing really it's, wrong with it. The, it's, well, it they, they, it's sex. It's like well, it's the, the, he prematurely it's, ejaculates Skittles. That's the entire it, point yeah. of the commercial. It's softcore porn. I don't think you want kids seeing. Hey, mom, what are these? If two there's kids doing? watching our, uh, <laughs> our podcast, <laughs> we're in more we're in more shit than. What is? Than, Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, the, one. That's the that's one. You can throw that up on screen. Yeah, I can. That yeah. literally that looks like fine. someone's just throwing candy. Yeah, yeah. that looks yeah. like someone throwing like, candy. If, you were, if no, I was to doesn't. throw it across the table and call not someone I don't catch candy, candy like, <laughs> you know? Not someone getting a facial, <laughs> yeah. It's a bit different. Just, what, what was that face called? The Ahigao face? Ahigao face or something. Mitchell just tried to do one and it was... It was It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was good. Yeah, Mitchell. I have a new desktop background, by the way, guys. Oh, yeah. You're never going to guess what it is, by the way. No. It's the M&M without clothes on. <laughs> Can you turn your fucking ringer off? <laughs> okay, sorry. Because I think I'm just sending you these photos so we don't lose them. But like, I don't think you need to don't lose them. blast the entire audience with them. Well, did you you mentioned having some sort of game, Logan? Did you? Wanna... Uh, yeah, we could play that. Um, we could go over that quickly before. We uh, forget. here actually, I have this one little topic that I was gonna. So I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm going on a cruise next month. Um, and one of the <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we we go to LA and then we leave LA and we're going to Mexico. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so right. the stops are uh, Ensenada, Cabo, Mazatlan, and Ensenada. I'm not sure if I said that. You right. said Ensenada. I thought you right. said closet lawn. M- Mazatlan. Hell, so anyways, Mazatlan. Mazatlan is one of the one of the stops, and there has been some news there recently okay. so the cartel one of the cartels i think it was well someone's son it was the son of um is it el chapo yeah el chapo's yeah son got so arrested. He, he got arrested and the cartel's been losing their shit yeah, they didn't been, like that yeah clearly taking over airports yeah. police stations there was a video where a 50 cow was literally shot at a civilian plane just trying to head out <laughs> jesus christ like, yeah it's it's not so yeah it's not good down but there this happened years ago like in 2014 he got happened, arrested and they had to literally give him back which they're probably gonna do the same they're gonna thing. have to like the the cartel runs that country more than the government does literally it's just it, it's like the yeah uh, the yakuza in japan yeah. they do way more for the economy than yeah. the actual government well, the cartel owns all the tourist stuff so my parents are like oh i don't know about it like it's not like it's gonna be fine they're well, not gonna, gonna join the cartel yeah they're not going to touch the cruise ships because all their money comes from tourism. They own all that shit. Definitely Everything. not the hardcore copious amounts of hard candy they're selling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but that, also at the same time, from, they, they own all that stuff. So, yeah. But, like, also, your cruise ship's leaving the States, I'm assuming. 
I don't think the Mexican cartel wants to kill a bunch of American tourists yeah, because that is a really good way yeah, to get to your shit rocked. <laughs> like, would, the, the cartel would get decimated by the state. That's the thing. Like, the cartel is actually starting to become more advanced, even more in gover- not government, in military, which is scary. Like yeah, they're like, literally using yeah. drones now to scout out everything. Well, like yeah. they're able to nice. stand up to the Mexican government, okay? Yeah, so. Like, but what does the Mexican government have? Well, like, they actually have more because of the Americas funding them. Well, you, oh. both of them are gearing up to, like, it's like an all-out war down there. Literally, they, they want to prosecute his it's, son. It's a, it's a civil war? It is. Basically, well, it's like a fighting organized crime, right? But it's... They, they want to take down the cartel, but they can't because they're, they're so powerful. I That's feel like it would literally like, bring down Mexico's economy. It would, it would mess the them cartel. up. But also, at the same time, if you just removed organized crime, then there'd also be positive power. changes. There'd be a power there'd vacuum. There'd be a power though. vacuum. There'd be power vacuum. That's one thing that's kind of tricky. If you, let's say, kick out the Mexican cartel, the mafia comes in or the Yakuza mm. come in or someone else yeah. fills the gap. That's, that's why they need. That's why the government needs the funding so they can fill that power vacuum. The government needs to have the power back, not something else. If it was something the accuser, else. they're, well, they're like, losing. Like, yeah. They're the biggest organized crime out there. Are I they? don't think the accuser yeah. would be interested in Mexico. No, though. I think they're pretty much Japanese-focused. I've, yeah. I've seen yeah, interviews they're where they're saying that, like, although they are organized crime, they also protect Japan in a way they, where it's they like they're preventing... Do. The Chinese is like the triads or something. The triad, yeah. yeah. Like preventing the, chi- the triads or someone else taking over the area instead yeah. of them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you gotta pick your evil, basically. See, that's the thing. They protect, but they also destroy. Yeah, it, like, It's a fine balance. There's no... I don't think there's any good form of organized crime. Or no. no. I, that might be controversial. But, but it's a balance hot take. of bad and evil. Like yeah. Evil and good. Personally, I'm it's just not a fan. I am a fan. You're a fan. Of it leads to crime. great games and shows, gotta say. It does. It does. Like it Breaking does. Bad, yeah. pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good. It also entertainment. leads to pretty good movies, like The Godfather. The Godfather. Yeah, I was. Godfather. I started watching the first episode of Narcos. It looks like it's gonna be good. But <laughs> did what? What's going on? <laughs> he, he looks at you. He goes, "Hey, hey, 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 hey." hey. hey. Hey, I just wanted to watch Shut Narcos. up, you're not you bada boom, bada bing. No, I'm not going to watch Narcos because yeah. I feel bad. Well, Pedro Pascal's in that, isn't he? Sorry. Is uh, it Pedro? Yeah, oh, maybe. I'm pretty sure favorite so. actor conversation, Pedro yeah, Pascal. Yeah, he's really is, funny. He's really He's, he's going to own 2023. Well, he, he's in Last of Us right now, which I don't know if we've talked about, but it's you should. fucking amazing. It's so good. I, I haven't watched it yet. Fuck you. Uh, let's not talk about Fuck it. Fuck you. I don't want to watch it. Well, it, it looks good. Uh, Last of Us looks good. I really want to play Last of Us, but I think I it's PlayStation too. exclusive. It so. is. Yeah. It's coming out on PC, though. Oh, that's I think good. soon, yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna do, March, uh, March something. Oh, comes there, out on there's PC. more big news about Sony and Xbox. What's going on there? Mm-hmm. So, Microsoft uh, recently tried to acquire COD, as we all know, right? Yes. They called the trading uh, guys who, like, if you do inside tradings, they come after you and send the FBI. This happened last episode, too. I was talking about <laughs> <laughs> like, they literally called the trading organization. They try to prevent a monopoly? Them. Yeah. But the thing is, Xbox has quoted multiple times, we just want on Game Pass. We, we don't care. Yeah. yeah. We just want on Game Pass. And Sony is now taking certain CODs off the store and trying to point the blame on Xbox. Well, yeah, it's like the... When you, they don't have the rights to COD anymore, no. it's still... The U.S. agency uh, moves to block landmark merger of Microsoft yeah. and Act- so, uh, Activision Blizzard. So it's like... If we don't have the rights, how can we do this? So they voted yeah. three to one to stop the biggest acquisition in video game history, setting concerns over thwarting competition. Okay, so it looks like it did not go through. Like, they, they blocked the merger. Okay. Well, that's stupid. Yeah, so the Xbox doesn't have the rights. Like doesn't have the rights to call it. PlayStation yeah. just wants to, like, They want pass. the monopoly simply because they are they don't have the funding Xbox does. No. They... Uh, yeah, well, like, Xbox is massive due to, like... Microsoft, Microsoft in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Microsoft. That, is but if huge. you look at all the the companies they've acquired, it's like ten times the list of Sony's. Yeah, they have a lot. It's insane. 
But the, the good thing about, like, Xbox is Game Pass is such a good value. Like, you don't even need to buy games anymore for the most part. Like, yeah, most the, of them are free. a new game comes out, yeah, you'll have to pay for it for the first, like, month or two. But honestly, after that, it'll come out on Game well, Pass. If, if it's not a huge game, then it comes out on Game Pass yeah. immediately. Well, Monster Hunter yeah. Rise just came out on Game Pass. It's not, it's not good. Well, I know that it was, it was kind of getting... The original Monster Hunter is better. Okay. It's, yeah. See, Monster Hunter Rise is, like, a Japanese take on it. Which, you know, it's not bad. It could, I shouldn't have said it was bad. It's, it's more of, what the hell is that thing? And it's animated. Versus, uh, well, if you're playing the normal one, it's, what the fuck are you? Oh, okay. And it's yeah. not animated. It's, it's not real. real. How it's is uh, how's Ghost of Tush- or Tsushima? Ghost, Ghost of, of Tsushima? Tsushima? Yeah, Tsushima. Right? Is it, have you playing it? It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Like, so. It's just showing the intro, like, you know when they show the game title? On like like side or something. Yeah. You're just riding through a field and your guy's just like putting his hand through flowers and there's like a lake right there. And the sun's like beaming it. It's it's just beautiful. I can imagine it. And it the combat, like it. it's it's smooth, but for some reason my dumbass keeps thinking X is the dodge. And every time I do that, I jump. <laughs> so I'm trying to fight a boss and I'm spamming X. And my guy keeps <laughs> jumping, so I die. I, I will steal my controller. <laughs> I was pretty mad. Yeah, God of War, dude, that game. But yeah, how far are you in Ragnarok now? Uh, I met up with Frey and we went to the place. Oh, so you're friends with her now? We just got there. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So I, just, I looked it up. Ghost of Tsushima won um, Best it, Art Direction yeah. and Player's Choice Award. Or Player's Voice Award, sorry. Okay. So Did that, that came out this year? Or no, that came out... That came out a while ago. That came out on PS4, actually. 2020. It came okay. out July 17th, 2020. Yeah, I thought it was a bit of that year. an older one. Yeah. Did, are you playing that on PS5? Yeah. Nice. Speaking of PlayStation, I will more than likely be buying Colton's Brothers PS4 to play PlayStation games because I can't afford a PS5. Yeah, so, I'm literally uh, just not going to sell it to you. Hey, that's mean. <laughs> you <laughs> jack the price up to the PlayStation price? Yeah, equivalent of a PS5. please? No, it's okay. The, uh, I, I don't know what your price range is, but Best Buy just got them in stock again, and they're staying the in PS5s. stock. Yeah, PS5s. The all-digital one is 600 Yeah, it's not worth so, it. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's like my entire paycheck. <laughs> it's pretty fucking expensive. Damn it. I should have went to you're working, 20, you're, you're working 20 hours a week? Yeah, something like that. Still Quick math in the head, though. But I also Ooh. have to pay. That's like three hundred dollars. So, yeah, I get paid bi-weekly, so around six hundred bucks yeah. per check. Bi-weekly. Yep. Actually, yep. the same. Bi-weekly pays so. Stupid. My last job, I was getting paid once a month. So monthly oh. pay is the worst. Destiny gets paid monthly. It's not good. It, it's it actually. I don't know how you can afford a car by getting paid monthly. It's yeah, good it's for budgeting, idea. but like. At the end of the month, you're running a little thin on funds. Very thin, yeah. At the end of every month, it's, it's, like not, it's not good. They so. say it's good for budgeting, but then it's like you get in the cycle of like, oh, I get all this money, and then you're like, oh, I'm good for the month, and it's it's really kind of. If you're smart with yeah. your money, you if you're smart with your money, the time, but a lot fine. of people aren't. That's the issue, though. That's a lot of people are not smart with their money. So they they see the big paycheck coming, like, oh, awesome! I have like I don't know, twelve hundred bucks. And then they they you know spend it on shit and all this, and then towards the end of the month they're like, oh oh. Well, I've got thirty five dollars to make it to the end of the month. What yeah. do I do, right? Like, yeah, and then you gotta wait, and then as soon as you get them more money, you're like, oh, I'm good. But I mean, the same thing happens if you're getting paid biweekly. Yeah. You, yeah. you spend all your money for the first two weeks. You're like, oh my god, I've got no money. I think weekly pay is yeah. probably the best, but no one no one does it. No it's, one pays you weekly. It's, it also is like to be fair to the business owners, it is a quite a lot of work to yeah, organize the it. weekly pay. So. I get that, but... I'd rather be paid bi-weekly than weekly, honestly. Really? Yeah. I, I'd rather get paid weekly just because it's something to look forward to every week. Like, oh, Mondays I always get paid. So I don't need to be like, oh, this Monday I don't get paid. Pay taxes, though. I guess, but I don't, I don't know. It's I'd just rather see the money roll in a little bit more steadily, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Do I do it in 3D? Fuck you, Jesus Christ. So I had a game. <laughs> okay, what's your game? Tell okay, us. it's called Same, Same, But Different. So it's actually no, a... Two co- truths and a lie. No, no, no. no. Okay, so it's it's made by the same card game people as What Do You Mean? <laughs> so we're, I, we're I, I didn't... We're fi- off to daily. I, I, didn't fi- I didn't know this until... I, but I saw the game and it was fun. So it's like something you can say while you're watching a horror movie and giving birth. Oh, okay. And then whoever comes up with the funniest thing will give them a point. So I have... 
one, two, three, four, five here, and then we can, you know, if you guys have other ones, then we can add those in oh, as yeah. well. Okay. So, cool. so yeah, first one. So well, are you the judge? Which one's funniest? No, we'll, we'll all like say and be like, okay, that one was good. Like, what? Okay, yeah. Well, I think if you're asking the questions, you should. Yeah, be you're just the judge. judge. You don't, okay, you don't okay. get to contribute right, to right. the funniest. I will, I will you probably thought about it as well. All right. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay. Uh, something you can say while watching a horror movie and while giving birth. Okay. We're gonna go in this order. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck! What is that? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Mitchell. He's missing his head. Poor baby. I'm not even gonna go. That was just funny as shit. <laughs> come on, go come up with something. You need something. Uh, fuck. Big guy. Big guy. <laughs> Big guy. All right, I think Mitchell got that for sure. I think that one was. Uh, Came fucking sucks. <laughs> no, okay, we have, we have more. Okay, no, we something you could say while visiting the chiropractor and while losing your virginity. Colton goes first this time. What? <laughs> no, Mitchell goes first because he's funny. Okay. He's funny. <laughs> no, I have to have time to think about. It. We gotta get really good for it. No, but the winner, the winner of last oh, okay, always okay, goes okay, first. Okay. Yeah. So chiropractor and losing your virginity. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, was gonna, I, don't uh, I, I have one. I was gonna say that's not supposed to move like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's pretty good. You've also been to the chiropractor, so that's not. Yeah, have you guys not been to the chiropractor? No. What? I should probably I go to the chiropractor. My them. back hurts like all the time. I, I have a good one. I, have a good one. I didn't know how that was supposed to feel. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. That's fair. Colton, come on, something. It gives something very good, better than big guy. <laughs> There's no laugh at it. That was a big it. one. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a heavy hitter. Oh, shoot. That's not right. I think I felt <laughs> something <laughs> tear. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm giving that one to Mitchell, too. Okay, okay I guess I, I stole one at the end there. Yeah, that one, that one's pretty good. Okay, uh, something you can say <laughs> okay, to your gym buddy. teacher and while trying out a new sex position. <gasps> You're too fat for this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Mr. Oh. Harding, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not you know, combining those two together? It's your gym teacher and a new <laughs> 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 I just kicked the table really hard. I've been doing that all time. I keep kicking this thing in the middle. Yeah, it's okay. All right, Lyndon, Lyndon, what, Lyndon. what's yours? Oh, fuck. Um, didn't know I was supposed to move like that, so. You said that for the last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I said. You, you gotta spice it up. Oh fuck. Okay. Let me think. Yeah. See, it's not easy. It's not easy it's to not think easy. of think I'm, of these I'm shit. Up this shit on the spot. Oh, my condoms. Quick, go fetch that thing out of the closet for me. <laughs> 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 that one works. Yeah, that was good. I like that. What was yours again? Um. You're too fat for this. <laughs> <laughs> no, those two are good. Both of those. I I'll think give it to Lyndon. You give it to creative. Lyndon? Yeah. This is like a stereotype of gym teachers being obese. <laughs> That's true. There you got this, cool. Come on. It's true. Okay. Uh, something you can say at the doctor and while hitting on someone. Lyndon, you got to go first because you won. Fuck. Um, same time next week. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that worked. You're one of the dent the doctor. Doctor Weekly. <laughs> yeah. Weekly doctor. Weekly doctor. I would like you to shove your fingers up my ass. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get a little cold and ask yeah, yeah. uh, What was it again? Something uh, you can say at the doctor's office and while hitting on someone. Open wide, please. <laughs> Open wide. I haven't <laughs> shit in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Walks up to someone and says that. <laughs> Open wide. Well, you didn't, say, mention, uh, you didn't mention what stage of flirting. So you oh, like, that's why okay. I said same time next same week. Same time next week. Same time yeah. next week, yeah. Uh, or I would like your fingers up my ass, you know. Uh, Depends on how aggressive you are. I'm giving that one to Colton. That was pretty good. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah, you right. go first, not Colton. Okay, okay. This, this one, this one, I've been saving. I think this one's pretty good. Something you can say at, at a family dinner, and at your first orgy. Stop hogging all the meat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, nice to see you here again, <laughs> Grandpa. Is that you? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh fuck. Let it was yours. Wait a minute. That's not a man. 
<laughs> yeah, what would you say that at the dinner table? <laughs> <laughs> when Aunt Gretchen shows up and you're like, dude, wait. Hey, why is your voice so deep? <laughs> All right, Lennon, what do you got? Hey, Grandpa, pass me that sausage. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lyndon, <laughs> Lyndon only intends incestuous orgies. <laughs> I think Mitchell's was good. Pass me the meat. No, stop hogging. Oh, stop on hogging. The meat. Uh, stop hogging the meat. Yeah, stop still. All right. Yeah. Win. So that was that was my game. I don't know. We'll, we could probably get some more oh, next week or something. It was all right. Yeah, that was a fun uh, game. Uh, I have some other questions here, but you guys go. No, on. we might as well do that. <clears throat> uh, so these are just some other questions I saw on a game show that I was watching. I um, so. What artificial flavor is better than the real thing, would you guys say? What artificial flavor is better than yeah. the real thing? Green apple. Green apple. That's a oh, that's a good no. one. I, no. I cannot stand green apple flavored things. He's I, just wrong. That's just so objectively disgusting. wrong. Oh, on the New Year's Eve, Peyton, one of our other friends, she brought this green apple like liquor thing. It was, it was sour did, plus? Yeah. yeah did, it was you, sour did plus. you have any of it? Yeah, I did. What did you think of it? I, I like green apple. I, I thought I could not stand it. I took a shot of it and I was like, Ooh. "Yum!" It was it was horrible. It was so bad. Pink yeah. lemonade. Pink lemonade. That's true. That's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. I think lemonade in general, artificial no. or, or grapefruit. Honestly, grapefruit. Yeah. Fake grapefruit tastes way better. Honestly, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go raspberry. I was gonna say blue raspberry as well. Yeah. There's, there's also yeah. not like a real no, blue raspberry. Yeah, Anybody so. who says fucking banana is stupid. Yeah, no. Or banana. grape. I think artificial grape is so bad. Oh, I don't know, it, no, horrible. honestly, it depends because if you have a high chew and it's grape flavor, it's those ones nice. are okay. I like grape crush. Grape crush I'll, that's okay. my hot take of, of the week. I like grape crush. I, I think it more just depends on your palate, honestly. Yeah, for yeah. grape. The yeah. top two, I think, are lemon, like just lemon in general, because you don't like go and eat a lemon. That's true. Like a lemon flavored lollipop or something. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <Those are good. laughs> lemon flavored lollipop. Those things are good. And mint. I think yeah. mint. Yeah. No artificial mint. mint. Yeah. No one eats like just pure mint leaves. No, no. it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Colton eats pure mint leaves. Does. Most people don't. Yeah, but yeah. So hey, a mint salad. What else you got there? there. Uh, three years ago, I would have wanted blank, but now I'll pass. <sighs> or like, like even ten years ago, just something you would have wanted in the past, but now you don't want it. Now you don't want it. I mean, like, most of the things that I wanted in the past, I have at the current moment. So Well, you forget about the things you don't want. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But, like, three years ago, I don't know, I wanted to be at a different university than the one I'm at right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hasn't changed. This place sucks. Oh, three years ago, I did. I you did. keep flip-flopping. You keep saying you like it here, and then you don't. Shut like up. You here, go to blank but, college. You see, if I was going to the other university, I wouldn't be taking writing for academic success. And I would You'd actually, be taking a different class. There's, you still have to take gen eds. I still have to take gen eds, but I wouldn't take that one. So, you know, it, yeah. it depends. It flip-flops. Yeah. You know. I'll, I'll, I'll say something real quick. Um, yeah, I would have wanted to take a gap year, but right now I'm paid for my gap year. It sucks. Yeah. You see, I was thinking of taking a gap year. And I was like, if I take a gap year, I'm never going back. So I forced myself back into it. Maybe take a gap year. Like, some people take a gap year through university. I might, so like I might take two, a gap year after years. my second year. Yeah. Work for a bit. We'll I was see. thinking that, too. I Like, when, beginning of high school or even, like, even the middle, I kind of wanted to take a gap take year. Take a gap year in high school. <laughs> yep. No, in the middle of high school, I was thinking, like, yeah, I probably would like to take a gap year. But, you know, I was the same with Mitchell. I kind of felt like if I were to take a gap year, I just wouldn't go back. I'd be too content in my situation with making however much money at a job that I would have gotten. So Yeah, 15 bucks an hour. Yeah. Big just, spender. Big spender. Oh, yeah. Big money. Yeah, so Honestly, uh, mine would be to go to an Iron Maiden concert. That would be pretty cool. But Three you years ago, now. you would have wanted that, but now you'll pass. Yeah, because they're not doing concerts. Oh, oh I, see. I, I see. I see. I see. Okay. But if they were, would you go? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll call it sick. Fuck yeah. yeah. Metallica's coming to Edmonton. I'll pass on that one. Thank on you very much. Metallica's good, but I feel like they're just now Metallica con- No, Metallica concerts suck. They, they, suck. they suck ass. Well, I'd rather go to a ever... Travis Scott concert. <laughs> <laughs> I was crowd crushed. That, yeah. I went to one. Uh, it was in Fortnite. That just slapped. <laughs> that did slap. You're right. Shit that was pretty slapped. good. Or even Ozzy Osbourne. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. He's still alive. Yes. My dad met him. How, How on earth is he still alive? Cap. Sorry. My, He's 74. My, yeah, I, I also met Moses. Um, Jesus. The, uh, God. 
the emperor of Rome at the time. So, He's a nice guy. <laughs> no, so, I, 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 actually, I actually have this story. My dad was working at a hotel in and Calgary. And the king of Athens back in 1490 yeah. BC. Nice, dude. <laughs> my, my, my dad was working at a, um, a hotel in Calgary. And um, him and Sharon were staying there because it, he was here, not for a concert, but for like something else. Who's Sharon? Sharon Osborne. His wife, oh. and um, their TV went down, and because my dad was um, the on-call, like my dad like was like the, not the GM, but like the operations manager for this place. Oh, okay. He um, because it's a pretty big hotel. He uh, he was called to the room because he was the only one on call, to fix the TV, and then he he got to meet Sharon, and then he heard Ozzy Osbourne go, Sharon, and then he he saw and got to meet Ozzy Osbourne That's in their hotel cool. room. I, you know, I just Googled him. I did not know that he was part of Black Sabbath. Yeah. But yeah. maybe I'm just, like, out of touch. <laughs> I don't think he was the lead singer. He, he got kicked like out. Did your dad pipe him down later that night? My dad did, did, did pipe him down Kicking out Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, because the amount of drugs he did. Jelly. After a long run of increasing erratic drug and drink field behavior, Ozzy Osbourne was finally sacked by his band members. But sacked. He's, sacked. He still produces his own music, though, doesn't he? <laughs> yep, he actually... He's, he's, he's a lot of kids. He does have a lot of kids. He had two different spouses, both of them. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Not just any sperm donator of it. He married one from 1971 to 1982, and then another yeah. one from 1982 on. Yeah, Sharon. Not Sharon. 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 The, the, the first one was Thelma Riley. Yeah, she was Thelma. 1971 to 1982? Yeah. Married 11 years? And then he married someone else. Dude, yes. she died. Like, what happened to her? Pretty sure she left him because of all the drugs. Oh, no, she passed away in 1982. Yeah. Wait, didn't you say they got married in 1982? No, they got married in 1971. He married, he married Sharon, Sharon in, in 1982. 1982. And then Sharon... Is still Sharon alive. Died. Oh, no. Sharon's still alive. Oh, so the oh, so they didn't get divorced. He just... No. She died. I, I gotta verify that she's dead. I don't know if she's still alive or not. Sher Sharon was on a lot of talk shows. And she also was a judge on America's Got Talent for a long ass time. Mm -hmm. I think I'm actually wrong. Uh, I don't think she's dead. Oh. L. L. Nope. Definitely not dead. Sharon or the other one? Thelma. Thelma. Yeah. No, I'm just wrong. Thelma. Velma. What? Sorry. When I when Thelma. I looked her up, it had like the end of her uh, end of her marriage as the end of her just date listed. So I assume uh... that she was dead, but. She's yeah, notable yeah. for being married to him, so that's why I'd have that date there. Uh, so, okay, I have one last question here. Okay. Uh, if you could live in a cartoon, what aesthetic would you choose? It's like, would like you choose, what? like, oh. comic book, like, outline, like, Borderlands kind of thing? Or would you do, like, anime? Would you do, like, Avatar Simpsons? Last Airbender, for sure. Avatar the Last Airbender? Yeah. yeah. That's a Star Wars The Clone Wars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna have the pointiest elbows of all time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'm gonna go rebels. Rebels. The thinnest lightsabers Thin lightsabers. on the planet. Their lightsabers are question. literally this. There's thing. so many. Yeah. Is that Mike up to code? No. no. Damn it. Damn. Mike's not up to code. See. Alright, we're gonna have to I'm leave. That's it. Give me a second. Right. Give me a second. Colton came here straight from work, okay. so. Okay. <laughs> Making sure it's up to go. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta get the wrap around. I don't know who added this in there, oh. but it's got an interesting topic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I don't know if we can include that one. No, uh, not, probably not. We're not including that no. one. Well. <laughs> maybe, maybe if Colton had a few more drinks, we could. Uh, no. We'll bring it up. But. We could take the first part of it. Um, you know, life advice. Uh, yeah. Specifically, like, if you could give yourself a few years ago. A piece of advice. When you're a little bit smaller. No, I mean like younger. Like, yeah. it, like if you could go in the past, like let's say and not three, as smart. Years, three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three years ago, what would you tell yourself now? Like three from now, what ago. would you tell yourself to like put yourself in a better situation? Don't be friends with Logan Elden. That I would have to go back in time further than that, sadly. Yeah, yeah I'd probably say the same thing myself. Okay, but like for real. What, 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 what do you think? Uh, oh, nah. I, I feel like a safe answer would be like... Uh, to like not Don't date worry. your ex, but at the same time, I wouldn't be with my crown girlfriend if it, I wasn't. Oh, that's dating. a good the that's a, okay. woman you dated. I would have said to myself, "You're going to go on a date with this girl. It's not going to go good. That's a sign." <laughs> and then I would have saved myself two years. So that's probably the life advice I'd give myself. Yeah. Three years ago, I'd say not to quit band, take band through high school. Why? 
because I missed band. I thought well, yeah, band. but you know, band. I'll just like pick it up again. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Affo- I can't afford an eight thousand dollar tuba. Why not? Like, take out a loan. <laughs> you just go to like thrift stores and stuff. You probably find one. A tuba. Maybe Instead not a tuba. Th- take out a loan. Uh, there's probably thrift shops. Like let, let specific me. For let me stuff. go. I'm gonna go to Long and McQuaid. Yeah. We're gonna start a GoFundMe in the description here for Lyndon's tuba. <laughs> Lyndon's yeah. tuba. Just so I can busk around town with my tuba. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, Colton, I'll let you go first. I'll go last. Don't OD on insulin by accident, because you'll fuck up your shoulder. Yeah. That's fair. That's, that's a good that's one. That's fair. <laughs> that's a good yeah. one. I, uh... What would you say to yourself? Did you go already? I did not go. Um, fuck. Probably, like, actually try during school. <laughs> try during school. You could be in a yeah. better position if you actually... Don't skip 100 <laughs> days in middle school by accident, quote-unquote. Yeah. Well, I mean, um... I would just say for myself. But, I mean, that's pretty just, um, pretty standard, though. Yeah. So probably don't quit basketball. That's a good one. Because I stopped. I didn't really have time, but I, I pretty just made time. So we should join a we should join like a we summer league. league. We should join a summer I should, league. I should, I should start playing more. I gotta work out more and play more basketball. You should join my hockey team. I can join. barely skate. Look, you're a learner and I can barely skate either. I, I can play, I skate. can actually skate pretty well, but I, I play can't hockey stick handle for shit. For neither can one on season. The team, so <laughs> he'll be fine. I played hockey for one season. It was one of the most miserable seasons of my entire life. Well, yeah, but like, yo, one, how old were you when you did that? I was like 11. Yeah, so it's like, it's probably more competitive. The one that I'm part of is a beer league. So it's like, you go out, have fun. They don't care if you do good or not. It's like, you go out there. My, that uncle that I'm always complaining about to you guys, he's on the team. And he's, okay, so he's, the, he's the captain. I'm going to oh. join he, it. Just he's my played 16 that's games. He has zero points. So no no goals, no assists, nothing. That's the captain. That's the captain. Okay. So. Is there a lot of checking in this league? I don't think so. I, they don't. It's not like you know heavy contact, but there because I, I'm, is, I'm like, looking to cross check your uncle. Oh, you could. Oh, <laughs> I am too. We're gonna join we tag Mitchell teaming. This is a like a goal. Just so everybody. I'm gonna start cro- throwing my cross stuff. Check Mitchell. Going like what the hell, Mitchell? You're the worst of this team. This is why we're losing. Yeah. Just lose it. I've, I'm I've, gonna join a beer league and make the most toxic, <laughs> toxic <laughs> hockey space ever. Just like go out there. Don't even bring a stick. Just go and like throw hands with everyone in the ring. <laughs> I uh, I have a buddy who's a part of a team. It's it's uh the one below the WHL, so it's like yeah. he plays for Calgary, but it's like not the WHL. Phoenix? Uh, no, no, he he works oh, where I used to work. Oh, okay. Um, he got he got cross checked uh right before Christmas. He still has a bruise. Yeah, it's his entire. He got cross checked here. There's no mark on this yeah. side, but his ribs oh. like up all the way through here is just like fucking like black. That's crazy. Because he, he got, got hit tra- hard. He got hit like he passed the puck. Went to skate and someone came next to him, charged like across the ice and cross checked oh. him to the ground. It's one of my favorite parts about basketball is laying people out. <laughs> like, I loved anytime someone would come at me. Oh, just stand just there? Stop and fall over. It was so great. We're all like, like I think I'm, I'm like, the tallest here. But what? I look so fat. And well, then you're well it's the second you lean back. I know. Like, like what that's the one thing I noticed. On? <laughs> like, the camera does add The last like episode did shit. me so fucking <laughs> dirty. Like, I was leaning back. I was sitting comfortable. You can't do it. It's something with our camera angle. I lean back, gain 30 pounds. Lean up, shred him. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like my 600 pound life over there. For real. Like, Tammy. Like, I was wearing a. Wearing Tammy. 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 And sitting too far back. Not okay. Not Game allowed. Over. Not allowed. I'm not the thinnest dude, but I'm not that fat. So no. hopefully this is a bit more of an accurate representation. I have a I have a good a good question for you guys. What's that? What's What's that? What's if here? um if you could be like on any show on TLC, so the learning channel, um what show would it be and what would it be for? So we're talking like cool. My strange addictions and masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> wife swamp. Wife swamp. <laughs> wife swamp. <laughs> single. Yeah. Well, well, I would be on wife swamp. You'd be on wife swamp. You're single. You can't be yeah. on wife swamp. No, I would be on wife swamp. Oh, wait, no, you're taking the guy's wife. Yeah. 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 Do you know how many married men would take that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, I will be married to your wife for two weeks. You get to be single. They'd be like, yes. <laughs> oh my God, what? So when I get paid for it? <laughs> yeah, hold Holy on. shit. This is free? Yeah. Um, my cord. Okay, honestly, I don't know very many TLC shows. I, all I know is My Strange Addictions. There's, my si- there's Sister life. Wives. 
90 so, Day Fiance. Sister Wives. Follow. Yeah, yeah, where the guy's like it's, five it's wives. Milf Manor. Yeah. Uh, 90 Day Fiance. Love in Paradise. My 600 pound life. Okay. Say Yes Address. Sister Wives. Dr. Pimple Popper. That one is a good show. I fucking love that My show. My Big Fat I Fabulous it's Life. Being popped. It's, it's so disgusting. It's disgusting, but it's so satisfying. <laughs> okay, so I found the one that I'd be part of. <laughs> it's called Seven Little Johnsons. It's about... It's a show about midgets. I'm like... 6'2", six, 6'3", six, so I think I could fit into the show pretty yeah, well. Yeah, you'd be pretty But I'd like to just, like, I'd be part of the show and have nobody acknowledge that I am not a midget. Or, <laughs> like just, I, I don't know if midget is the correct term. Um, it might be little something person. else. Little person or vertically challenged, but I think vertically challenged is not the right one. I I've heard that thrown around. Calling like, Sophie vertically challenged. On more than one yeah. yeah. Uh, but basically, I would like to be on that show and have just everyone else pretend that I am the same height as the other people. Even looking down show. at you, just looking at your knee. No, like like they, they film me normally, but they never acknowledge the fact that I am twice the <laughs> so height you, of the other you cast. Wouldn't, you wouldn't have the people like cranking their necks up to see you. No, they'd just be like staring straight, staring like level at you, <laughs> staring right at your crotch. <laughs> However, it works out. No, we have to frame it in, uh, so that there's no scenes where we're like looking at each other. That's how they directly do it. at each other, yeah. like we're like walking or something like that, or like yeah. both sitting down on the couch. But, but like, it's it's just a guest appearance, just one episode. No, no like the entire season. The entire, <laughs> se- the entire like every, series. Every episode features different groups of people. I would be the only recurring character <laughs> through every episode. No, you'd start your own show called My Little Life, and it'd be all about you and just, the just, the struggles the of struggles being like of two being... and a half feet tall or something. Yeah. Like, because I, I think most of them are on like four feet tall. Yeah. Right? So I'd have it. Where, like, my personality in the show is I am half the size of the normal uh, little person. Where I am, like, two and a half feet tall and it is so hard and I can't get into my car. And there's just a, a form of me, like, like, a video of me just, like, climbing up gracefully into a Hummer or something. <laughs> you'd be, like, you'd be trying to reach for, like, the something on the counter. Yeah. Well, I get, like, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, or isn't it Lao Ming? Like, the yeah. tallest yeah, person. Yeah, the tallest yeah. person. Yeah. yeah. Have him in the show. Just Taco Fall. Oh, or Taco Fall. And you know those, like, massive dump trucks they use in, like, the, the mining? Yeah, yeah. My ass. Yeah, those as well. But, like, have one of those big dump trucks. Throw a photo on there. I'm going to make you throw some photos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I uh, also, that. have, like, a photo of Taco Fall. All right. But uh, So, that basically, is. he's a, he's an NBA player. But have, like, a, a video of one of these guys getting into the car and Taco Falls. Hey, you know, I'll, I'll come with you or whatever. And you see him climbing up into the massive dump truck. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Ta- Taco Fall is... Are y'all mean doing uh, a trust fall with one of them? <laughs> Shaq trust falling onto one of them? I feel Jesus like Christ. TLC is just like a, a show dedicated to making fun of people. It, it is. is. That's all it is. I feel is. like to a degree it's also very scripted. It's very fake. But like it's fake in so many Dr. Ways. Pimple Popper is probably the only one that isn't like exploiting people who are having a uh, having a rough go. Well, it kind of is. Though, Sis- like, sister wives isn't exploiting people. I don't. It's just weird. It's just weird. It's it's, it's Mormons. It's oh, like gosh. it's Orthodox Mormons. And they have Logan, aren't one... you an Orthodox Mormon? No. What are you? I thought you were Mormon. I'm not Mormon. There's no way. I, the, I'm not even like I'm. I'm not really religious like at all. My, it's my my mom's side who has like my grandma and stuff go to church and we go on Christmas and that's it. That's all. We do We do it mainly, mainly for her. I guarantee you when I move out and shit and have a family of my own I don't think we'll be going to church at all unless it's to keep up the tradition with them but that's about it. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, we're just, we're just articulating. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're just getting a feeling of the room. Yeah. Yeah, just got plenty of so, Listen to these sounds. Well, honestly, this is the actually setup. a very good workout for your yeah. arm. Yeah, but the setup we have here is actually amazing. Yeah. It is it's so nice. Shout out to uh, el 2451 University uh, of Calgary. Audio <laughs> production room in, yeah, the UFC. Yeah, yeah. UFC uh, campus. Totally UFC. Totally UFC. Because yeah. I'm smart enough to get the UFC. It's just a public office space. Yeah, but this this place is pretty this cool. Is our Eventually, and this is our room. This is our studio. I'm okay. sure once one of us gets their own place, oh, I'll be getting. I'll be. I, I'm looking at this. I want to buy it. And we're I'll, gonna uh, make probably our own one, so we don't have to. But then you have to buy that. four road mics. I'll buy road mics. I'll get a bunch of like Razor Siren Minis. Those things are good. But whatever. It, we won't talk about that now. But we're gonna have RGB yeah. on the podcast. Yeah, there's no RGB on there. They're literally like the same. They look the same as. This. But yeah. Oh. Um, 
Just stay posted. We're gonna if this ever does good, we'll. Uh, well, I, I stayed up till like two a.m. last night. Said one a.m. earlier. It was like one forty-five. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Hit us up if you found us on TikTok or Instagram yeah. Reels or yeah. YouTube Shorts. I got them. I made a bunch of clips. So I'm, I'm gonna post them all. I I handle the social media. So if uh, yikes. Yeah. No, it, it'll be good. Colton does jack shit. So does Lyndon. What are you talking about? Lyndon was he's uh, planning on doing the uh, our jingle. He wants yeah, to do I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna create the nice. music and the, the sound for it. and the sounds okay. that you're gonna hear. See, Colton is Colton is hot. Colton's here for the looks. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was telling Logan last night. Colton oh. is here for the looks. Yeah. He's also our inspector, so he actually ex- inspected yeah. Yeah, the hey, studio. Colton makes. Sh- sh- oh wait, it says <laughs> fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, you're just a ginger. You have no rights. You're a ginger. We had to give you a day because we felt we felt so yeah, well, bad like for you guys. Respect yeah, day. there was a ginger respect day. That's how much we hated you. Nobody <laughs> followed it. Wasn't we there all like, hate you. Wasn't there You're a ginger? A stop yeah. talking. In Calgary, who um, they did like send out a, a like a letter to the guys asking them to stop coming in the sink. <laughs> so it was cold yeah. in the drains. That, that was um. What? It's actually it's actually around, it? around here. So what like oh. the gingers. It's, it's around. No, our, no, no, no. That's totally different. Oh, I'm related to gingers. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's around our office. Um, Why is there oh, red oh, cum? Yeah. It's, 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 not, it's not the school that's like right there. It's um it's across Crowchild. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking so, about. Oh, oh, dog it's, school. Um, I forget the name. Uh, Lo- Logan, I'm sorry. You're going to have to bleep is. this. It's um. Okay. I thought it was. No. no yeah, we, set, just, we, set, just, we don't want to dox the school names. So we're going to have to beep the school name that you said as well. Yeah. How many subscribers do we have? It's just, well, just it's in case just someone case. watches us, like you know, it's just keep keeping our asses covered. Yeah, and wasn't there's another high school in uh, Calgary that had a bit of a scandal, uh, similar to the MILF <laughs> dating show, <laughs> where they had yeah. Um, yeah. Was that here? That was here. I, I was think this Cal- also made the news, so I think we can say yeah, what school so, this was. So Western Canada High School, it's right in downtown Calgary, which is the city we live. I didn't know that was here. I yeah. saw that on the news. So so <laughs> Holy um. Shit. It, yeah, there was a scandal, and for their pep rally, they had um, the moms. They had their sons blindfolded, and they thought that they were going to be kissing their girlfriends or like girls who were interested in them. Um, it turned out to be their moms. It was so uh, their moms were making out with their sons while their sons were blindfolded, and I had no idea what was going on. They didn't Jesus know what was Christ. the moms. Yeah, and it, like Milf the manner. The moms were like scary into it. I remember watching yeah. clips, and this like there was like tongue. Yeah, it was, like hardcore. It was tongue in there. It's disgusting. Like oh. it's like the re- it's a reverse Oedipus complex. I think it was I think it was one mom yeah. who got like most of the flack for it. Yeah. But yeah, the school had to apologize and they like, got a lot of flack. Most for most of them were like the moms would kiss him on the cheek or something, and then there the, there was one mom who just like, like full blown or... made out with her son. It was disgusting. And like getting kissed on the cheek by your mom, that's totally normal. Yeah, like, that's like, normal. Even like the even lips. When I was four like years old, I kissed my mom on the lips. Yeah, yeah like, like when you're younger. Nothing, but like when your mom could. Yeah, your mom's like that's, Frenching you. That's, I think yeah. that's yeah. so yeah. messed like, up. Like now, I think once you get to a certain age, it depends on the relationship we have with your mom. Like some families, yeah. they just kiss each other, and that's how it is. Yeah. Tom Brady, for example. <laughs> 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 other people, like my family, we don't go around kissing each other. No. Personally, no. I'm not. I find it kind of weird. But like, yes. if your family does that, it, they do that. But typically, you're not gonna make sons out don't with your son. French their moms. No. Right. That's weird. I also oh, feel yeah. like the kid didn't mean to do it. He probably well, he was blind. Yeah, he had no idea. He was like, oh no, this girl it was really just likes it. Straight me. up, just his mom being weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that's one hundred percent the mom's fault. Yeah, it's not like um, like first of all, that just gotta ruin your relationship with your mom. Yeah, like I would, I'd never be able to look at my mom the same way. Like you just no. made out with me in front of the entire school. There's yeah. gotta be some sort of like assault claim that yeah, could be thrown exactly. in there. Exactly. Domestic abuse. Did you know that school. happened with Greg Paul? Where like Who's Greg Paul, Jake Paul, Logan Paul's dad. Yeah, he was like oh. kissing people in one of their videos. I can't oh remember. yeah, and he like wouldn't like let go. Like he would literally, he was just sticking his tongue down her throat. And then he stopped, and he was like, "I want more. <laughs> I want more. I want more. I want My name's Greg Paul, Paul, and I want Logan more. Paul's dad kisses underage blindfolded girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's weird. And it was a literal video. Yeah, it's in a video. And I have they it. They posted right. it. Everything. <sighs> Jesus. Well, Christ. what are we looking at? Time now. Uh, we can wrap up any time. We're gonna wrap up. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we'll we'll, we're not, <laughs> we'll finish it on uh, a grown man kissing an underage girl. That's yeah. good stuff. Roll a clip. Uh, yeah. Throw one in there. But guys, guys, so, listen. Jake Paul and Logan Paul's dad 
fed them hamburger helper in a two-story house. They didn't have shit growing up. They didn't have shit, and he was working for $10. He definitely did not do tax fraud. But listen, he had a very hard life. Yeah, feel bad for the J. Paul brothers. Okay. So, um... Go go uh, use a zoo coin, whatever that's called. Crypto zoo. Yeah, crypto zoo. Yeah. Invest in crypto zoo. Invest in crypto zoo. That's gonna be our last <laughs> message no, to our audience. To this <laughs> is financial advice. At vet, or oh, invest in crypto zoo. Obviously, don't so, um, don't do that. Yeah, we're actually gonna end it this time instead of it just being cut off because we uh, ran out of storage. Yeah, yeah, we didn't know how to manage storage, so we bought have our storage. Little, mm. we bought storage this time. I bought storage, not so, we. I did. I did. I would. I'll, I'll uh, say thanks for watching or listening wherever you find it. Um, yeah. You can if find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and TikTok. Instagram and TikTok Instagram as well. Instagram and TikTok. We have a bunch of socials. And, but honestly, anywhere you look, you, we should be there. <laughs> yeah. So, your if, address. if you are watching, if you are watching on something like. Um, Apple Music or Spotify, hit us up on YouTube because you get to see all those amazing visuals amazing that visual Logan visual. puts on the screen oh, yeah. for us. Very Thank you, Mr. Logan. Editor. Yeah. Or we, even TikTok. Yeah, all, TikTok. All the clips are real there too and YouTube Shorts and all that. So. Yeah, right. so basically just uh, look just, out for us. If you see us, subscribe, like, follow, all that good yeah. shit. Uh, if you like us. us on uh, Spotify and Apple Music as well. Yeah. Give us if reviews. you see Logan in person, follow him home. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, he spends a lot of time trying to avoid his address getting leaked. We say it all the time on the podcast. So if you find him in the wild, follow him home and leak his podcast that address that way. Yeah. So, when, so whenever we say it, he doesn't have to go and edit it. Thank yeah, you very I can just much. move. And then we can't get in trouble. Yeah, because well, you have the money to move. Uh, when I move, is... I'm not telling you my address. So we'll just go to your house. That's, uh, yeah, but I won't tell you my address. I'll pick you up and take you to my house. Okay, oh. then I just pull up maps and share my location. You can't see it. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the second episode. We're done. Uh, yeah. Bye, you guys. Stay tuned. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.